hi guys i always feel so weird when i go on live on my own instagram and not the miss universe page i hope everyone is well um i'm just gonna wait for you guys to keep coming in okay i see a couple of people coming in before i welcome my guest oh there's pause i have a live today with a very special lady very incredible powerful black beautiful queen um i can't wait to introduce her to you some of you guys who might not know her but i think you y'all will know her you will know her and i'm just gonna look for her now pause i hope you sent oh there she is this live thing for such a long time she has a hang of it hi nia thank you hi <laughs> every single time see i knew it you're you fabulous uh, thank you. Thank You're you, fabulous. Papa. Okay. <laughs> Can we just, we're all fabulous. I was about to say, I was like, okay, so I'm going to speak to Boz. What does this mean for me? I know she's going to come up looking <laughs> like she always does. <laughs> fantastic with her nails, her hair, her earrings, her makeup, which is why I came with this earring. Listen, because I these knew. earrings, these earrings, this face, these lashes, this lipstick, the nails, the <gasps> outfit, the green, so, fabulous, the cheeks, the lips, girl, do it. Thank you so much. You know, I just put on these lashes like two seconds ago. And I was like, literally, as I was like going live, texting you <laughs> that I'm going live, I was like, oh my God. You're over here putting on the lashes. I'm into it. I'm into it because they I'm, look spectacular. Where are you, Zozi? Where are you? I'm, New York. I am in oh, New, York, New York in the Miss Universe apartment. Oh, you and are? I am. Oh. This, is like, this is like my last days here. Oh, yes. Right. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Well, this is, see, this is why we need to get on this live because, like, we haven't caught up in so long. No, so it feels no. like, you know, this is, this is our catch up. It's just going to be in front of everyone. Like, we're, we're just going to catch up I with everybody. That. Yeah, and but I love that you were there to be a judge when I won Miss Universe, and now literally a week after I give up my crown, oh, here you are again. I'm so I happy to be doing this. You I are know, the last person it's I'm circle. having. I know you're like the last person I'm having a live with in this apartment, and probably as a Miss Universe. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen this week. It could be. Ah, could be. I mean, <laughs> if if I am, I am honored because. I you're right. I was there the night you were crowned. Um, I I would like to say that uh, I had a feeling, you know, because um, you you were certainly um, the bright star on that stage that night. You absolutely deserved it. Um, it's so funny. I remember um, that you know we were getting like the instructions on on judging, and um, you know our our darling Paula. <laughs> uh, gave a really great piece of advice. She was like, she was like, you'll know, you know, when when you see her, you'll know, you'll know that she she's the one who deserves the crown. And let me tell you something. You came on that stage, and I was like, oh, this is what she needs. Like, There's our queen. There she is. So this is this is really full circle. And and you've been so incredible because you know this is this we've been in a whole pandemic. We've been in a whole pandemic and that is history making for you too the how fact that you served that? during a how pandemic crazy. i know but before we even go on i've seen i've been seeing a couple of zozi please introduce our fabulous guest to us we want to know who she is oh, i'm so okay, sorry exactly. i'm sorry i just, I just jumped just right went. in <laughs> we just went this is bosoma saint john beautiful beautiful Ghanaian sister all the way from africa also an American woman, as you can see. Um, she is the CMO at Netflix. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that. She is the Chief Marketing Officer at Netflix. I, I'm going to let that sit in and sink in. I want to say, I know it's been a while. You've been there for a little, I mean, not a while, but oh, congratulations. Thank because you. I, don't, I want to say it in thank front you. of everyone, because yes. let me tell you something. When that dropped, I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked. Shocked and uh, oh my goodness, she is a beautiful black woman. And she is the chief marketing officer in a space where she's not supposed to be there. In a space where that wasn't designed for her to be there. And so that was my shock. 
But secondly, I was like, it's bots. <laughs> of course, she's going to be the one to do this. Of course, Thank the audacity. That, that's my favorite thing about you, boss. It's Thank the you. audacity, number one. And the belief in yourself. Because let me tell you something. You must have so much belief in yourself to be like, okay, I worked at Apple, worked at Uber, did this for that, but I'm good. I want to move on and keep moving on. And just when we think you're there, you elevate yourself again. How? 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 Do you even, how? Just tell us how. <laughs> you're us. like, give us the tools. Teach you us. Know, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I mean, the thing is that, um, you know, you already kind of said it, which is that, you know, we're Black women. We're African women, to be more specific. Um, it is in our... It, certainly in our nature in our dna you know to have the kind of self assurity because yeah. the world decided that we weren't important you know and so we don't we don't look for validation outside yeah. of ourselves you know that's really the truth of it which sure. is that um if you talk to most black women they are they're pretty self possessed <laughs> you know because where else are you going to get it you know it's, it's who else is going to tell you that you're great you know, I, it's like the world doesn't set up that way. And so I think from a very early, early age, we mm -hmm. learn, fair or not fair, by the way, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's the right thing, but fair or not fair, we learn uh, mm -hmm. how to be self-possessed, to have that confidence, to know that you can walk in a room and belong there. Now, I'm not saying that that always happens, because certainly yeah. I have my own moments where I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, somebody gives you that look or says that mm -hmm. thing to you, and you're just like, Oh, okay. Clearly you don't want me here. And it's intimidating and it feels terrible and you feel sad about it. Um, but for me, it's really been a journey of just understanding that, you know, sometimes if, if people don't want me in a room, then I don't need to be there either. You know what I'm saying? And it's not about giving up. That's the thing I want to make very clear that it's not like, oh, you just give and be like, oh, they don't want me here. Oh, woe is me. Let me just go lie down the bed and cry. You can cry. It's okay. Um, mm -hmm. but you can also take the power and say, you know what, fine, mm -hmm. I'm going to find a different place. I'm going to find a better place to be anyway, you know, mm -hmm. and this is the, the build. And so sometimes it's like, even when, like, even for you, you know, which I'm very interested in, in understanding, like, you know, what you want to do next and all of that is that you can achieve, right? Like mm -hmm. you said, I was at Apple and had a very high job at Apple in marketing and, Folks said, why would you ever leave there? And it's like, well, because I have other things to accomplish. Yeah. You know? And then I got another job. I got a job at Uber. And it's like, I'm the chief there. And it's like, why would you leave that? Why would you and leave I'm that? Like, because I have other things to accomplish. Yeah. You know? And then it's like, I went to Endeavor, where we met, you know? Yep. Because Endeavor owns the Miss Universe organization. And it was a great job there. And it was like, why would you leave there? I have other things to accomplish. You know, it's just also because you can. That's right. Because that's you right. can. And that's, that's one right. thing I think we forget. We like yes. to think we can't. Again, because the world has told us that we can't. And so you you get so scared. But you actually can absolutely move you on can. to the next thing. You have and it. In that's, that's why I'm looking at you. Because you're so gorgeous and smart <laughs> and self-possessed with confidence. And I know that, you know, obviously all of us have to deal with the backs and forths of the world and our lives and making decisions about what we're going to do. And, you know, it's like there's a fork in the road. You can go this way. You can go that way. You can go straight. You can go backwards. You know, there's like all of these options. And you're at one of those crossroads right now. And I let you, me how tell do you feel? Something. How do you feel? Let me, let me tell you something. I've been telling people that I'm so excited. I'm fine. But I'm going to tell you now because it's just you and me and some other people watching. I it's am a few people nervous i am so nervous and i feel like i want to allow myself to be because i don't have to have it all figured out just as at once um i've been miss universe the longest reigning for a year and a half now yes. more than it was intended to be and so it had become like such a huge um you know part of me and it was so so difficult especially during the pandemic being yeah. able to reign during that and so now it's like you're about to close this chapter and move on to the next thing and it is so scary but it is so exciting as well because then yeah. it's like here's a blank page 
Yes. You will see your oyster. You can literally do anything that you want. And so that's where I am right now in my yes. mind. I am more than ready, you know, to to jump in and, and try different things. Some of which I can't uh talk about really openly right now. Yeah. But it is an exciting phase. Um, yes. And I can't believe it's so powerful. Yeah. It's so powerful, you know, to be in this moment of reinvention. You know, I think yeah. that's the most spectacular thing. You can decide to reinvent yourself or it can happen mm -hmm. to you, right? Um yeah. because you might lose a job or you might, mm -hmm. you know, get out of a relationship or whatever the thing is and you might feel like, "Oh, well, I I didn't make this choice to do it." Yeah. Um, but the truth of the matter is that we all get to that point where a mm -hmm. change is happening in our lives and you can choose to embrace it and make it powerful, you know, and decide like, okay, now what do I want to do, you know, and totally be in charge. Like I, I said this in a, a friend wrote a book, Tim Ferriss, you mm -hmm. know, a few years ago, and he asked me to contribute to it. And I said something that I thought was really simple. And then people have, have really, um, like, you know, gravitate towards it. Uh, which is this, the central idea of it was that, you know, it's like we we give up, you know, so much of what we think we can do, you know, it's that uh, but we have the power to change almost anything and everything, mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's that recognition. And so it's like back to your question of like, OK, you know, how do you reinvent or how do you keep going from this thing to that? Thing? Because I have to tell I'm being totally honest when I tell you that I believe I have the power. Like, I really do. I do believe it. And it's not a passing thing. It's not a simple thing to say. It has mm -hmm. been over practice and over time because I believe in the power of like my destiny. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that's what that's what you're you're stepping into, which is such a beautiful Absolutely. thing to witness, too. Thank you, boss. It, it really what you're saying reminds me of, you know, just like purpose and, yeah. and knowing that you are everyone's here for like a reason there's a reason why you're here and it's all within us and yes. i read this and I'm, I'm not sure i'm not sure where i read this so many things that i've read but it's it says we we like to think that we we cannot i think it was i'll think of it it's a very famous quote that i'm sure everyone yeah. else has heard of before about how we like to think certain things are meant for certain people mm. and not necessarily for us and so she says, next time you want to ask yourself, who are you to be? Maybe you should ask yourself, who are you not to be? Because these things are not, but who are you not to be? And so I think that's how we're able to tap into the power within us to elevate ourselves, to get to where we want to get. Because who, right. who, you, who said it wasn't, you know? Who you? said it wasn't? Who, who said, said it, it wasn't? wasn't? Yeah. And that's, exactly. that's, the, that's the beauty of it all. You mm -hmm. know, it's like you are such a shining example of that as well. Like who said mm -hmm. that it wasn't your crown? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, who said that? It's like, you have totally proven the fact that it is. And for the longest running. <laughs> for the <laughs> which longest is, running, which, man, which is think, incredible. Okay, okay, this is this is another first, another, another check that we can put into the history. And I know this is so interesting, Boz, when I, obviously went into doing research as well into Miss Universe and finding out that I am like only the sixth black Miss Universe for like the years that it has been run. It's been like running for how for it, a long time, a very long time. And so for those reasons and for my look and for my everything, some, somehow, somehow, people thought, somehow people thought it wasn't for me. The this look whole though, the look though. Oh, thank you. oh thank you. you know, I, I think <laughs> your, your, um, I'm just going to call it the class picture, but it was like, you know, your picture that that night that yeah. you won. Oh, <laughs> I think all of us around the world just fell down on the ground, you know, oh. started rolling around, just being completely in awe and in love because Thank it's you. like you you just unearthed all of this beauty and power and symbolism you know for the rest of us it was just so gorgeous and so again to just see you in this role has been amazing mm -hmm. and the beautiful thing and i'll say the corny thing right now which is that mm -hmm. like your reign actually never ends does it, it 
You know, no. it really doesn't. You you are Miss Universe for the rest of time. Well, the, <laughs> like, that's what's so amazing. I always tell people, you know, and, and I've had this conversation with so many people on social media as well who are like, I'm so sad that this happened during your reign, you know, the pandemic. You weren't able to go out and see the world. And I was like, you guys know I'm not dead, right? right. Like, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still alive. This is like the beginning of the rest yes. of my life, if I can yes. say. It's like a, a stepping stone to launch me to so many places where I can be. Yes. And I felt like in my heart of hearts, I, of course, I was heartbroken that there was a pandemic and I couldn't, you know, leave and go to a lot of places and do these things. But at the end of the day, I just looked at this past year that we've had. You know, yes. we've had so many cases of, you know, gender-based violence with people because obviously, you know, children and women were locked down mm -hmm. into their houses and their spaces with their abusers. Mm -hmm. And we had the conversations around the Black Lives Matter movement. We yeah. had so many, you know, racial inequality issues. And I was like, but this is what I'm about. This is what my message is. This is yes. who I am. Maybe yes. I'm meant to be here, you know, for such a time as this oh. um, to use my voice and to use, you know, and I was like, for that's such a right. time as this. For such, such a time, time as this. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, it's such a beautiful so, thought, by the way. I think if, if mm -hmm. everyone realized that all of us in our own circles and ways um, mm -hmm. are not accidental. No. You know, that um, the moment that we're in, the place that you're in is not accidental, that you're actually mm -hmm. meant to be there, that it was designed for you to be in that moment. Like, how much more powerful do you, would you feel? You know, if you knew that that this moment was designed specifically for you to be. Mm. Like, exactly. Yes. I mean, I had to get to a point of like, maybe it's not happening to me, but it's happening for me. Yes. <laughs> that, that, because that's how I had to like get out of that headspace of, oh, why me and crying? And I was like, maybe it's happening for me. Yes. Yes. And maybe it's happening me for me. You know, and so, yeah, but it's it's been a rough year. It's, it's been I a know. I know. For so many of us. It has. But here it we has. are. But I think of really, you know, and that, that, that might sound, oh, I can hear you. Did okay. I go off for a second? Okay. Um, I, I think I might have. I don't know what was happening there, but. You look fantastic. You okay. continue to look fantastic. I love it. Oh, thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I was saying that um, it's also been a time for self-reflection, you know, mm -hmm. and, and if, and if, um, you know, you haven't had a chance to, and not you in particular, but maybe people who are watching, if you haven't had a chance mm -hmm. to because of the pressures of life and just yeah. being, you know, it's like, I hope that people really take the opportunity, you know, and that they, mm -hmm. they take the opportunity at some point to be able to just have a deeper sense of self, you know, understand the things that we want out of life. As you know, my, mm -hmm. my entire mantra is to live life urgently, you yeah. know, and it's not said with ease. It's not like I'm just like, oh, you know, like <laughs> carpe diem, seize the day. You know, it's not as simple as that. But mm -hmm. it's true. It's like I, um, you know, not to bring it down or anything, but a few weeks ago, a very close friend of mine passed away from cancer. Um, oh, she was 40 oh. years old and uh, had two beautiful young children, a gorgeous husband. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it just reaffirmed for me, you know, the fact that we are living these lives and even during this pandemic, you know, where it feels like life is on hold, you know, it feels like, oh, this is pause. Like, let me wait until this is over in order to live my life again. I just, I just want to encourage that there is no pause. You know, there's no pause that this life and the, the way that it is, it's meant to be lived fully. Like even in the moments, regardless of where you are, it doesn't matter how small the space is or how large or how small the opportunity is or how large or how enormous the opportunity seems. You know, it seems like it's so big out there. Like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to achieve that thing? And it's like, you know, just understanding the fact that, you know, we have to go and get it like right now and leave the fear to the side somewhere. I mean, I know you have big dreams and aspirations, you know, for what you want to do. And I just want to encourage you that, you know, you have the complete power to be able to do the things that you want. And that's why it's not strange to me, you know, to have seen you wear the crown. Um, <laughs> it is clear that, uh, you know, your, your destiny is very, very big. 
You know, it's like there's not there's not a lot of people who get to do what you did. Uh, and so how much more amazing it is to think about what you have coming, you know, in the future. Mm. Oh, I know. I I love that you you gave this message, and especially for a lot of people listening as well, because I've been hearing so much about we've been apart for like a whole two years. Yeah. We've been in love that you said. How how about we we live now in the moment? Yeah. I post. Did you post something today? Something about happiness as well. Oh yes. Like fighting, yes. Not to now, change. Yes. Not to not change happiness. <laughs> yes. 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 Makes sense. Because yes. we have it in our minds, like oh, I'm going to be happy at the next job. Yeah, you know, yeah. Move out of here and go to another country. I'm going to be happy there. Let me postpone that. And it's like hmm, this is right. the happiness within us, oh. and maybe it's in line with the power as well. This we is the most am- yes, it's the most we amazing can. thing. Um, mm-hmm. It's it was from um, a woman named Manuela. I tagged her mm-hmm. in my post. Um, such a it was such a beautiful thought because her her concept is around destination addiction you know mm. meaning that it's like we're we're waiting for the destination in order to be happy right mm. you're waiting for the next job for the next section of life for the next partner for the next fill in the blank in order to be happy you're like oh well maybe once i get to do this then i'll be happy mm. when i get to do that i'll be happy when i get to meet this person i'll be happy and the truth of the matter is that like then you'll never be happy where you are you'll never be happy in this moment and what a thief that would be of your thief happiness of joy. right Man, thief i i think you, i will admit that i'm probably one of the people who have struggled not necessarily with the happiness but celebrating the achievements that i made of the present uh, of the present um because i'm always thinking okay next and then sometimes i forget i'm like okay but did you celebrate this though before you know jumping and and thinking of of the next thing yeah. did you yeah. did you celebrate this did you look you at celebrate. yourself and yeah. be like you did that yes you did that this moment and so and that's why i'm like i have no problem like sitting back and celebrating the fact mm-hmm. that i am where i am like this I'm whole not- journey that brought me to this very moment in time to the position i'm in now mhm It's like I'm not humble about it at all because I'm no. like, do you know because what it why? took to get here? You have any idea what yeah. it took? It took a lot. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm just like, oh, I'm going to celebrate. Oh, right, I'm going to get up. I'm going to be so excited. But it didn't yeah. start. It didn't start when I got this job. Mm. That's actually that's actually the real trick. Is it it started a long time ago. I remember this one. I'm going to tell you the story. It's so silly, but it's okay. like the the real, you know, crux of what I'm saying, which yeah. is that So I had moved to New York City when I was um 23. Mm-hmm. And I got a job as an assistant. Um and you know as Destiny would have it my I was assisting Spike Lee which is its mm-hmm. own story for another time. Um, I I call you back for that story because <laughs> but Exactly. That was, that's a whole story. That's a real that's a whole story. So I I was an assistant and you know as an assistant right you're like getting coffee and you're mm-hmm. you know cleaning up the office and making coffees and you know calling people and stuff and um I was working late one night like I had only been working there for probably 5 or 6 months or something and I was working late and I lived very far away from the office you know and I had to take public transportation to get home but you know it's New York City and at that time we're talking you know 20 years ago um there it was very dangerous twenty, by the way but thank you darling but it was a long time ago um but i i i didn't want to i couldn't i mean i would have but i didn't want to take the train home cuz it was so late and um spike offered to get me a car service basically like a taxi right to take me home and so um he called the car service and i went downstairs to get it and i was sitting and it was warm enough for me to roll down the window you know as it was like taking me over the bridge to new jersey where mm-hmm. i was like headed towards my very small apartment that i sh- i shared with a, a a good friend she's still my friend now but in any case i was taking me over there and i remember this the feeling of gratitude mm-hmm. you know and feeling like i'd made it yeah. you know like i was just i was sitting in the car and i was just feeling like the wind on my face like i can i can feel it right now you know that same feeling 
that I was like sitting there and I was just like, and it makes me want to cry because I was mm -hmm. just like, I, I, I was so grateful. Like I was like, oh my God, look at me. Like, look at me. I've moved to the big city. Like I'm, I'm in a car. <laughs> Somebody's driving me to my apartment. You know, it just, I felt so accomplished mm -hmm. and it is the same feeling I have right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in awe of the opportunities. I'm in awe of the feeling of accomplishment. And so like, I'm, I'm grateful in it. And that's the present that we need to be in, that we need to operate in. Mm -hmm. And so I hope even for you in these last days, you know, of your reign, that <laughs> you're sitting in, in it, you know, and, and really fully experiencing what this mm -hmm. year and a half has been, you know, and what today feels like, because you're so incredible. And it's so wonderful to see your face in this in this way and to see what you're going to do after mm -hmm. this, you know? So anyway, I thought I'd share that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that because for some reason, we think we have to be at a huge Miss Universe stage in order to start celebrating the moments in our lives. And it's like, but it's within, it's the little wins, the everyday yeah. wins I always tell people. I'm always like, if you wake up and you get that job, it doesn't matter what it is. You didn't have that job yesterday. What? Celebrate that. Um, yeah, I, I love that I love story it. so much because it resonates, I think, with, with a lot of us. And yes. so thank you for sharing. Thank you. I think, Aww. I hope that we will all like go back to our chairs and be like, what did I accomplish today? Yes. Because it's so easy for our minds to look for the negatives all the time of what I couldn't have done, but what did I do? Yes. Uh, and what so I, I really, really love that. And yeah. also you spoke about being your biggest hype man. Love oh. your videos. There's a video of you hyping yourself up. And I'm like, this is my favorite. This is why I love being around you. And this is why I love speaking to you. It is because of the confidence of it all. Um, mm -hmm. And the audacity to have that confidence. Because <laughs> especially as women, as once you become that, you know, yes. you see this, it's not attractive. Uh, is yes. it not? Because it Listen. is. It is awesome. Okay, is Zozy, Zozy, you have to, you know, you have to give us a little of how you hype yourself up. You realize you have to do it. Oh my, wait, give me. Come give on, me do it. <laughs> so I, I'm a big believer in like, in like affirmations. And yes. so every morning I will literally wake up and look at myself in the mirror, especially when I'm feeling really down. And I'm like, mm. sis, mm. first of all, you're Miss Universe. What? Come on, say Let's it. start there. Let's and start sometimes there. I'm like, maybe that's just enough. Maybe that's enough for today. Maybe I could just wake up and be like, you're Miss Universe. Go on with your day. Go on, Go on with your day. Because that's not, because sometimes I feel like Woo. I can be so modest about it and pretend like it's not like a huge stride. Uh, I guess because it's how I grew up and, and who I am. But sometimes I'm like, no, sis, but, yes. but you are. But, so you tap are. Into it, but you are. But you are. And I think by tapping into it and believing in it, I'm opening doors for Ooh. other great things as well. Because Ooh. if I'm not appreciating and being, you know, having gratitude for what I have now, maybe I'm closing doors for what's coming next. And so if you just got this huge job at yes. this, you know, huge corporation where they probably never have these women there, hype yourself up. You, okay. you are. You are her, you know? You, uh, come so on, claim it. That's all it takes for me. I'm like, when I'm feeling down, I, when I feel down and when people keep telling me and all these negative things, I'm like, no, bro. No, no. No, no. No, let's, let's go back, take a breath, look at yourself in the mirror and appreciate all the yes. things that you've done. And yeah, that's, that's just... That's just it. I love that so <laughs> much. I love it so much. And I love it so much because it's like claiming who mm -hmm. you are, accepting who you are, because you are, remember what I love to talk about? The beauty boss, that energy, yep. that Black energy. Beauty. Yes, it's about the That's energy. What it. <laughs> it's about the energy. And so you're right. When I was standing in the mirror, hyping myself up, it's all about the energy. It's yeah. just about the energy. It's like reminding myself who I am. Who you are know? you? It's like, because like sometimes you wake up in the morning and you need it. 
You know, yeah. and who are you going to depend on to tell you mm -hmm. except yourself? You know, well, it doesn't then, matter you know, if you have friends or a partner or whomever to tell you. It's like if you don't tell yourself and therefore don't believe it, it's not going to be worth it. You know? Yeah. So for me, I, I love that. I'm like, yes, tell yourself, I miss universe. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's okay, right. In, so. a whole, in a whole pandemic. <laughs> miss universe. In a whole pandemic. In a whole pandemic. In a whole pandemic. I did okay? that. I did that. I actually wanted in that in that same, you know, train of thought of I saw this uh a post, I think you shared a post on Twitter this one time where i don't know someone was trying to drag you and the way you responded to it was like boss energy i was like see this is why she's a badass this is why she's better <laughs> because this person says to you you've jumped so many jobs it are you like unreliable should you be considered this unreliable person and i was like how imagine how How? Imagine. This person how? Moved from amazing job to she's elevating herself. So how did you move from saying like she's great at her job? That's how you should look at it. That's why she keeps on elevating because she's so great at her job. And right. it was so baffling for me to be like, wait, what? Somebody can say this? Yes. Yes, they can. And that's You're the thing is that they don't they what they forgot in that moment was that I'm not alone. Mm. That's what they forgot. They thought I was out here by myself. People came. The people. They, I, I didn't, I I didn't need to say anything. I just sat back and looked pretty. I was like, go ahead. Say what you want to say. I, my people are here. <laughs> my people are coming for you. And I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to sit right here. Just, I, 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 my hair. I was like. <laughs> oh, see, this is why I wanted to have this chat. I think the most important part of it for me was just that energy of self confidence and self belief because uh, i mean especially as black women we don't we don't get it i mean you yeah. might get it from your your nice circle of friends but some people don't have that and if you yeah. don't tap into that yourself because let's be honest if you were a male and if you were a white male um who acted confidently every day when they entered into spaces because here's the thing they are, they they grow up to be that way they are taught to be yes. that way it's okay yes. to be that way but yes. when you do it it's kind of like mm, it's, it's weird. a problem she's making me feel uncomfortable why why is she this way why is she so cocky and i'm like okay but like why not you know <laughs> <laughs> and so that's why I really I when I was going to chat to you again I was like I want to bring this energy to the timeline. Yes. I truly want people and women to know because when I think of, of myself and and where I grew up and where I am today it's like these are the things that I needed to hear when I was yes. young. It's things yes. that I needed to hear so much. Um to say things like you have the power is 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 inside you. You don't really yes. need a whole lot you need to build from that's right. and that's right. and so that's why that's, I love that's the whole energy you know yeah. it's like you know the truth of the matter is you're right it's like and i i at one point i was i was really upset right about about being in the space and not being appreciated yeah you know or for for what i bring and what i do um but i have now realized my own strength and also the strength of mm. people around me you know so that i yeah. don't feel alone in it um ever mm -hmm. so it's 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 really it's um it was a really it was a really wonderful feeling but i feel like all of us can rely we can be vulnerable enough to rely sometimes yeah. on other people to also give us the energy you know yeah, so that's it's all true. good that's it's true. all good now my Somebody darling I wish I wish I could talk to you all day. I don't know. Um but you know I I've got it's Friday afternoon but the hustle doesn't stop on Friday. But so. who are you? Who are you? Let's start there. Like who are you to sit here and chat for 2 hours? <laughs> you, you are the chief marketing officer of Netflix. You know, got places to be. I got <laughs> yeah, I've got meetings. I've got a meeting to get to. So unfortunately <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have to go. But I love you so okay. much and I'm so Thank proud you. of you. Um, obviously, you know, you and I will be chatting, of course, on, not on socials, but we'll be chatting <laughs> because, yes. um, the world deserves to see you shine. 
even Thank after you. this period of time. And I cannot wait to see your energy unleashed onto the planet. So I am so proud of you and I, I adore you. So thank you so much you. for the chat. It was good to see thank you. you so and you look gorgeous. That thank part too. You. Stop, you look fantastic. Thank you so much for taking time and chatting with me today. I would take, I would have you for five hours here, but I will. <laughs> well, you know what? This just means we'll have to do it again because that I've got to tell you that Spike story, right? Yes, um, yes. We also have to continue talking about um, how we can continue to achieve, like what are the Absolutely. actual practical applications for how to get the thing that you want, right? Mm -hmm. Because that, that takes real skill to be able to get what you want. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do that. We'll do that. Absolutely. We'll do another one. I, I, can't, I can't wait to do that when I'm no longer Miss Universe and in a right? different space. Because we can do whatever we want. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay. I love you. Thank you so much, Bye. Boston. Love you so much. Come on. Bye. Bye.